Hello, I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain and Gutter. And uh, in this video, we're going to be installing a Zoller M53 sump pump. Here you see the sump pump, and we are screwing in a fitting into a threaded inch and a half outlet from the sump pump. What we prefer to do is glue a piece of pipe into that fitting and then screw it down into the sump pump outlet. That way you can cinch it up nice and tight. Once that pump starts moving, you know you got it in there tight. Next thing you want to do here is install a check valve. The most important thing to remember about the check valve is to be sure that the arrows of the check valve are pointing away from the sump pump. This is so when the sump pump kicks on, the water will be traveling out of the sump pump through the check valve and on out the wall into your drain tile. Once you're sure you have the check valve installed properly, you can tighten down the clamps uh, on uh, the sump pump side of the check valve and go ahead and set your pump into the pit. In this particular installation, uh, we are able to use some of the existing parts from the old sump pump. And uh, we've saved the through wall fittings and uh, we actually have a no hub there that's attaching to the through wall fitting, which makes it very easy to remove or install a new sump pump. Go ahead and tighten the clamps. And we're just about done. We just need to make a small extension here for between the check valve and the existing piping that we've installed. A hacksaw is the best uh, tool to use here to actually cut inch and a half PVC pipe. Place this section of pipe into the check valve. Be sure it's seated down in there as far as it'll go. You can go ahead and tighten that clamp up from the check valve. And you have an option of installing a inch and a half PVC coupling or an inch and a half rubber boot or no hub. And that's what we're using here for quick disconnect as well as quick installation. Be sure you tighten down those clamps good and tight. No water will escape from there whatsoever. Once you're sure you have all of your fittings in place and clamps secured, then you want to go ahead and plug it in. Give it some power. Go ahead and check your uh, float switch. Be sure that the pump is actually operating and then you want to put a few tie wraps there on the power cable coming up from the pit uh, just secure it there to the piping that you have coming up to the through wall set your pit lid in place and your sump pump installation is complete I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain Watch all of our how-to videos and thank you for watching.